This project is an Arduino quiz game. It's similar to the kind you might see on a popular game show, like Jeopardy or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So, at this point, it's a good idea to gather materials, so you'll be prepared for building it later on. And you can see them on screen as I've listed them. So, I would recommend you pause now, and then continue after you've gathered your materials. This is the schematic of the quiz game. The schematic is a cleaner way to visualize the project before you build it. A little preview. Now, let's break it into parts. The first part of this project has two buttons. They're each taking an input voltage of 5 volts. And they each have a different re resistor leading to the negative rail. And the negative rail is not connected to ground. The resistors give different output voltages which the Arduino measures based on analog pin zero. The way this works is if we press button one, the output voltage will be different than button two because the resistors are different. We also have another wire and a, a resistor with that wire, which acts as a default value of a zero for measurement's sake. The second part of this project has the score, a clear button, and a speaker. When either of the buttons in part one is pressed, the associated LED in part two lights up and the speaker makes a sound to indicate that the person has answered. Then the score is counted by blinking each of the LEDs to show the score of each player. If player one scores one point, then after the clear button is pressed, player one LED will blink once. And if they score another point, it will continue. In the code, the first thing we do is define some variables. We keep track of the pins the LEDs are on, the pins the speaker's on, etc. And we also keep track of some state variables that will tell you, for example, if the button has been pressed, or what the score is, or what the old score is. Now we make a helper function called showScore. This whole function will effectively show the score of player 1 and then player 2 when the function is called. In the setup function, we set up the serial monitor just because if we want to do some testing. And then we um, initialize all the pins with pin mode. We do an initial turn off of the speaker. And then what we do is we, um, we have an automatic system where when you press the buttons in sequential order, this button and then this button, it will set it up so now it knows what these resistances are. Otherwise, you'll have to hard code that in. That's why I've made it so the initial thing is a, a test where you have to press the button the first time and then the second button and then it'll be set up. Now we have another help of helper function called pressed button and this will check if the button has been pressed and if it has, then we do the steps shown where we will turn it, we will um, play the sound and we will um, blink the LED and then we'll wait for the clear button. And when the clear button has been pressed, we can show the score. We just have another simple helper function here to compare two arrays. And um, it's very simple. Now inside of the loop function, which runs over and over again, we have um, the old score, and we update the old score, and then we measure whichever button is being pressed. We check that here, and if it's the if it's the first button, we make the player zero or player one technically their score. We increase that by one. Otherwise, we uh, if if the other player has pressed their button, then you increment their score by one. And then we're printing out the serial monitor what the scores are. And we're checking if the button um, has been pressed, then we will run the pressed button function. Here's the final product of all of our hard work. Let's set up each button. You'll need to do that each time you turn it on. 
And now, let's say the host says, what's 2 plus 2? And I say, 4. Then the host can clear it. And now it'll blink once for me to show that I've scored once. If the other person scores, and it's cleared, then it'll blink once for me to show I have one point, and blink once for them to show that they have one point.